The Bible is so accurate that when it says Jesus rose from the dead, we should believe it. Welcome to Friday Fallacy. This week, we're looking at the base rate fallacy. The base rate fallacy is when the background rate is ignored when calculating probabilities. That is, rather than accounting for the general rate at which something occurs, this is simply ignored. This is not a sound way of arguing, as when calculating probabilities we need to include generic and specific information. That a medical test is 95% accurate in no way means that if the test is positive that there's a 95% chance that you have the disease. That a witness is generally accurate in no way means that their current testimony is accurate. Some examples of the base rate fallacy. AIDS is more common amongst homosexuals, so most people with AIDS will be gay. DNA matches are 99.99% accurate, so only 1 in 10,000 matches are mistaken. Every time I've been robbed, it's been a black guy, so now I'm wary of black men. Mammograms are 80% accurate, so if they find something, you've probably got cancer. Not all probability calculations are the base rate fallacy. The base rate fallacy is only when the background rate at which something occurs is ignored. So, for example, let's consider airport screening. Suppose that a new technology allows us to identify terrorists with 90% accuracy. If a particular passenger is indicated, what's the probability that they are actually a terrorist? The naive answer would be 90%, but that's very wrong. If, on average, only 1 in 10,000 passengers are actually terrorists, then in any group of 10,000 passengers we would expect one terrorist and the rest non-terrorists. But the new technology is 90% accurate, so of the 9,999 passengers who aren't terrorists, about 999 of them will set off the alarm, despite being innocent. So the alarm will go off for 999 innocent people and one guilty one. So the probability that device going off actually means that the passenger is a terrorist is actually more like 1 in 1,000, or about 0.1%. This example illustrates that the accuracy of the test, in isolation, tells us nothing about the likelihood that the test being positive is actually accurate. A basic rule of thumb is that if the chance of the test being wrong is about the same as the rate at which the condition occurs, then a positive result on the test is only about 50% accurate. So to detect things that occur very infrequently, like rare diseases or terrorists, the test needs to be wrong much less often than the unusual event occurs. If only 1 in 100,000 people get a disease, then any screening test needs to be wrong no more than once in 100,000 for it to be of much use. In practice, this is achieved by not applying tests indiscriminately to a population, and instead are combined with clinical judgement and the presence of other symptoms. The mathematics behind the base rate fallacy is well established, but understanding the mathematics is not necessary in order to avoid falling into this trap. The important thing is to never accept the accuracy of a test as proof of the accuracy of a specific test result. That is, a test's general accuracy is not the same as the accuracy of a particular test result. In order to determine the accuracy of a test result, one also needs to consider the rate at which the condition occurs. To not do so is to commit the base rate fallacy. In conclusion, the base rate fallacy is when the base rate of occurrence is ignored when estimating probabilities. Until next time, keep your fallacies to yourself.